In Wasatch SoftRip, select Template and choose Show Template Editor. This will make the Template tab appear. Select the Template tab. Make sure the width and height are set correctly. Select the Add Rectangle tool to add an image placeholder to the layout. Draw a rectangle in the template design area of the screen. You can now edit the properties of your image placeholder. All image placeholders appear in the data box on the left-hand side of the screen. The placeholder you are working on will be highlighted. These coordinates are based on the orientation that is chosen for each placeholder. The default orientation for every new placeholder item is centered. To change the orientation, select the Orientation pull-down menu and choose a different setting. For this training, we will select the upper left option so the image we place in the box will come from the upper left corner. If we had selected the centered option, the image would come in from the center. You have the ability to adjust the X and Y coordinates for each placeholder in your layout. You can choose the width and height of your placeholder. You can add multiple rectangular placeholders to the layout. You can also add placeholders that do not constrain the size of your images. This is done by adding a point placeholder to your layout. To do this, select the Add Point tool from your menu. Add a point placeholder to the layout by clicking on an empty space in the template design area. Just like the rectangle tool, the X and Y coordinates can be adjusted for the point tool. If you are using the point tool and select the Scale to Bounding Box option, the point will become a rectangular placeholder. When your placeholder rectangles and points have been added, you are ready to save your template. To do this, select Save and name your template. Now move to the Layout tab. Select Apply Template from the Template pull-down menu. Choose the template that you just created. Now you can drag and drop images directly into the placeholders. Your images will constrain to the rectangle placeholders and expand to full size with the point placeholders. Once all your images have been placed, you're ready to rip and print your layout.